Good evening and top of the morning to you laddies. I am Jacksepticeye. I have scary games. You want scary games, right? You want them deep down dark in your soul. All you have to do is repeat after me. Put your right hand in the air and say, I, video game watcher of the Jacksepticeye variety channel, promise to not get scared this video. Let's do it. What the fuck? This one's called Don't Trust. Um, so I don't know if it's telling me not to trust the game or not to trust me, trust what's happening in the game. Don't trust the game. Okay, I will not trust a single thing that this game says. Welcome. After finishing a task, remember to return into a starting point in order to receive next quest. Good luck. Eat a cookie located in the kitchen. Ooh. Okay. Man, this looks great. What's up? Life begins after coffee. Oh. Don't I know it. Ah, a cup of the good old dirty beans. I was drinking my coffee this morning and everyone was looking at me weird out the window. I have no idea why. Got you all your classics, your Iron Mans, your Man Spiders, and your America Captains. Okay, I'm more of a Man Spider myself, but to each their own. What is going on in this house? Is this a scary game? Is this a spook? Okay, you can put the phone away. Is it a phone or a walkie-talkie? I don't know. Okay. <laughs> it closed through me. Alright, no time to be getting scared just yet. Stick the phone to your face and you'll be fine. You can't get scared if you can't see anything. Why is there a knife? <laughs> Should I eat the knife? Okay, clo close that. I can't close that. Oh. Can I? God damn it. Okay, eat the cookie. Nom nom nom! I'm gonna take the knife with me. It's easier to defend myself like this. I can't see where I'm going. I just have a knife out in front of me, and if I walk into you and it stabs you, then that's really your fault. Okay. Ah, oh, damn it. Uh, damn it! Congratulations, you receive a hundred points of experience. Put toys into the toy box. Okay. Who is talking to me? Wait, we're- Oh, is that it? Without completing your tasks, you will not level up. Turn on the TV. I don't know what's happening. Back away! Jesus, please, help me. Um, where is the TV? Okay, put the knife down here. There you go. That's for you, and I'll sit here. This is cozy. This is comfy. Nice. You are very obedient. It's because I have a knife. Every player need a good weapon. Put a kitchen knife into the toy box. Ooh! I knew it. I was destined for this. Is this the toy box? Uh, okay. Pathetic. I did not expect from you to be such a noob. How dare you call me a noob? My dad was a noob. And he fought for this country. <laughs> it is so quiet in here. Music perfectly intensifies the experience. Turn on the radio. Okay, is the radio in here or in a different room? I see no radio. So far, I'm not trust. Me, I'm not trust you. What's going on out there? I live in the fucking Himalayas. Or the desert. One or the other. Reality is often disappointing. <laughs> is that Thanos? But this does put a smile on my face. Okay. Radio's on. This really does intensify the situation, you're right. Oh shit, my phone battery's dying. There is no turning back. Um. What? Okay, white noise abound. From- oh, from Mama, where are you? I'm really worried. People say that a boy carrying a toy box was seen near the river. Please answer me. Mama! Mama, no, it is not me! It is the demon! How do I progress? I think I broke it. Right at 69. Nice. Is it seriously broken? 
Oh god, I restarted it. Oh, now I'll do it right, because this is the toy box here. Put toys in toy box. Good. Congratulations, you leveled up. Hell yeah. Turn on the TV. You gotcha. Also, I keep the same experience from last time, or the same battery percentage from last time. All right, now you want me to put a knife in the thing, right? Okay. You got it. Come on, knifey. Our journey begins. It is a good place for this knife. Don't forget about it. All right, music time. Oh, we get to hear Thanos again. Reality is often disappointing. <laughs> Excellent. Okay, there's no turning back. All right, here we go again. Maybe this time, oh, my toy box is gone. Okay, can I go it this way this time? Nice. All right, do not worry, mama. Is it frozen again? I don't know what's supposed to happen after this. Wait, that might actually be the end of the game. Because it's called, do not trust the game. So maybe if I don't trust it, and maybe if I do everything contradictory, or fail some other tasks, I don't know. Eat a cookie in the kitchen. Well, I can't not do that. I have to progress it somehow. Is there something else I can eat? Eat a fruits. Eat a cactus. Eat a plant. Fuck, I ate the cookie. <laughs> Damn it. Okay, I leveled up. Put toys in the toy box. No. I don't want to. I'm being a disobedient child. How do you like that? Without completing your tasks, you will not level up. Turn on the TV. No! Oh, my toy box is gone. Interesting. I'm trying to figure out how I can progress this stuff without actually doing any of the tasks. Oh, my toy box is here. I'm gonna put the knife somewhere else later. Turning off the TV. Ignorance is always undesirable. Every player needs a good weapon. Put the knife in the box. Nope. I'm gonna take the knife and shove it up your butt. I'm bringing it back here. Pathetic. Did not expect you to be such a noob. So quiet. Perfectly intense face. Turn on the radio. Okay. So if I turn off the radio... Is that good? Don't you turn on anyway! Reality is often disappointing. No, shut up! I don't want music! It's late. You better go back to bed before I get back. I hope you were having fun when I was out. Love you, Mom. Oh, Is that it? <laughs> oh man, I was expecting so much more from this. I thought something with this kind of title would get like really creepy really quickly. Who was talking to me? Why were they talking to me? And how were they talking to me? I like the idea behind this. I really wanted it to get really scary, because I like that. I like it throwing it on its head. Almost kind of like a Stanley Parable sort of thing, where you're going along normally and then everything takes a left turn. Or I could have some choice in it. It was. It seems like it was either all or nothing. I don't know. Ah, I have shit all in my eyes! Have it get scary! Have it get spooky! Have the game suddenly turn on me! That shit is interesting. This has some good ideas though. I just wish it was more. Oh, but dear viewer. We are not done just yet. The spooks and the scares continue abound. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Hello? Yes, they're right here. It's for you. It's someone telling me that there's more spooks. This game is called the Mortuary Assistant. And it reminds me of that movie, The Autopsy of Someone. Hi, Valerie, it's Raymond. I know it's late and I'm really sorry, but I have a huge favor to ask you. All right, everybody loves Raymond. I had a late pickup over at Sacred Waters and I just started the embalming maybe 20 minutes ago, but I have a family emergency I need to leave the office for. Would you be able to come in and finish it up? Uh, sure. 
I mean, sure. <laughs> but I haven't done one alone yet. Are you sure that'd be okay? You've been doing a great job and I'll leave a checklist for you just in case. I took care of some of the prep work already. Really appreciated. I have to do an autopsy on my own? I don't want to do that. Great, thank you so much. I'll see you tomorrow. What is the name of that movie? The... Autopsy of... Vicar Amelia. The Autopsy of Jane Doe. Duh! Really great horror movie. You should watch it. I enjoyed it quite a bit. Ah. Darkness. I really should not have done that because I couldn't see where the switch was again. Ah. Brightness. Alright. I've already checked vitals, bathed the body, and set the face. I wish someone would set my face. You know what you're doing by now, but just in case, here's a list. Wear a coat and gloves. Ah, damn it, am I naked again? I didn't bring the tools out yet, so bring tubing, syringes, scalpel, and trocars to the side table. Okay. Uh, none of that stuff is here. So, I'ma just head in. <laughs> okay. This is not gonna go well for me. I can already tell. Okay. I got my little gloveys on. Um, oh, I need my jacket. Maybe I should close the door as well. There we go. Now it's just you and me. And we have a beautiful date night ahead of us. I'm gonna turn on some music. Um, okay, what do I need? Wear a coat and gloves. I didn't bring the tools yet, so bring tubing syringes. Oh, they're all laid out right here. Okay, take that. Put this on the table. I heard a knocking. Don't come a knocking when the autopsy rooms are rocking. Are you smiling now? They weren't smiling before, were they? Nope. Okay. That's that's a big no-no. Oh, I hate this. I fucking hate it. Oh god! Slit your throat! No thank you! I would rather not! I'm gonna take a tube. <gasps> oh Jesus fucking Christ! <laughs> oh, this is good. Oh, I like this. Can I leave? Fucking creepy ladies telling me to slit my throat. All right, no, no. Stick with it. Stay in it. Create the embalming mixture in the machine. Formaldehyde, glutaraldehyde, ethanol, and maldrandlebamp. Uh, wait, what do I make it in? In the machine. Okay. Ethanol. I don't trust this. This is really fucking freaky. This one. Oh god, such a simple premise. Create an incision in the carotid, carotid artery. Carotid artery, what am I saying? And the jugular vein. I've just realized that until now I had never seen the word carotid actually spelled. Okay, I think I just do it. Okay, I'm about to lay hands upon your person. Do I have permission to do so? Is this going to get freaky? Yes! The shield is ended. That which will not be in must break. The broken will become my vessel. I am here. Those who do not know me will know me. The shield is ended. That which will not be in must break. Shut the it! Broken will become my Shut vessel. the mouth! I am here. Those who do not know me will know me when they hear the knock. Do oh, fuck! Occupied! Do you know me? No! I know you. Fuck! <laughs> Oh god. Oh god. Holy shit. This is so cool. Okay, there's a there's a knock knock knocking at my door. Pick up a scalpel. Okay, I can't do anything for some reason. What should I do? Throw sponges at them. 
turn off the lights? Oh, you don't lock now. Oh god. Granny, why? Granny, go back to bed! Ugh, I'm uncomfortable! Oh, good Jesus Christ! <laughs> the fucking hell! Son of a bitch! Oh my god, I pressed space to think that I was skipping something and I just put up the board in front of me. It didn't protect me at all. Thank you for playing the prototype for the mortuary assistant. If you enjoyed the concept, please stop by the Patreon and leave a comment saying so. Your feedback and support are what helped me continue making games. If you didn't get through my pa- or get this through my Patreon and you enjoyed yourself, please consider stopping by and supporting my work or possibly sharing my work with others. Hell yeah! That was amazing! For as small as that was, that was only like, what, five minutes? Whatever. Um, that was a teeny tiny little snippet of what an experience could be, but that was awesome! The, the potential for different things in that, it's a very, I, well, I, I hate to use, like, PT as, like, a standard for these types of things, because everybody ends up doing it, and PT is just a, PT is not a game. PT is like an experience on how many different ways you can do scares. And I think that this game has a lot of potential for that as well. Having just that one room, your list of tasks, your different things that you can do to the body as you're going through it, um, and again, like, is this inspired by the autopsy of Jane Doe? Because it, it feels a lot like that, where it's just, that whole movie takes place in that one autopsy room and a hallway. And you don't see anything else outside of that. There's two characters plus the autopsy person. And that's it. And it's so damn good, and I really, really enjoyed it. And I really enjoyed this as well. Like, that one room, there's so many opportunities for so many different types of scares and playing with expectations and playing with games, uh, or playing with, like, gaming tropes and gamers themselves that I would love to see a more fully fleshed out version of this. So yeah, go support Darkstone Digital anywhere you can. I look forward to seeing what else they make. Ooh! That gave me the heebies! And I already had the jeebies, so now I got a full set. But don't go anywhere yet, dear viewer! There is one game left on the chopping block. One more experience for us to enjoy together. Have you been scared yet? I hope not. Because you made a pact and a promise at the start of this video, and if you broke that, then your word means nothing to me. Welcome to Sentient. I'd actually seen this before, and I meant to play it in a previous video, but I never did for some reason. But it looks kind of cool. I think I'm just in like a cell. All on my own. Ooh. Slow. Steady. That is what's going to win the race. And in horror, it's all about... Suspense! Ooh, I like these sounds already. It's good shit. Good shit indeed! Let's hope you stick the landing. What am I looking at? All I can see is the reflection of my own face in my monitor. Hello! <laughs> This has got to be one of the slowest builds ups build ups to the start of a game. Oh Ah, I was waking up. Freaky. Why is it in four three ratio? Damn, this looks great! I mean, it's a simple little room, but the lighting just there is actually really, really nice. Well, it is Unreal Engine, and that's always amazing. Ooh! And nice physics! This game has fucking fantastic lighting. Okay, I have a tennis ball, and I must throw. Throw it in the hole. Okay, I missed, I suck. Um, what? Hello. Good morning. Oh my god, it's the Japanese Google Translate. 
Or Chinese. <laughs> Stand in the center. Let's begin. What am I getting myself in for? Okay, it's a little quiet, so I'm going to turn it up. Grab the ball and throw it. Okay. Put the ball in your sleeping block and return to the center. All right. Am I just some weird experiment? Well done. Oh, I get a cookie? Can I eat the cookie? Nice. Ooh, this is freaky already. I really like this. Class number 4006. Use your new toy to answer the questions. Put the ball to the left to say yes and right to say no. Okay. Do I like the cookie? Uh, yes. Okay, it bounced both ways. Do you feel your body? No, actually. You no longer own your body. Do you feel contained? Yes. Are you aware of yourself? Oh god, am I a robot? Uh, yes. I'm sentient? I'm the robot? Do you fear without a body? Okay, who am I answering as? As the character or myself? Because I would fear without a body. I don't like the feeling of not being in control of things. Okay, that didn't register. Do you exist without a body? That is the question, isn't it? Do we exist after we die? Do, does our consciousness go on? Because technically, we're a consciousness controlling a body. We are not the actual body. We are, are we actually physical at all? Or is it just our interpretation of our physical movements that make us think that way? There's a whole topic to talk about in that regard. You are this room. Okay. Is your reality a simulation? I don't know. Do I actually feel anything? Or is it just simulating that I feel things? I'll say no. We see what you wrote in your sleeping block. We are not satisfied. Your life isn't real. Reality is simulated. You worthless... You're worth less than a tasty cookie. Oh, that's sad. <laughs> What's in here? Time to relax. You can entertain yourself with your toy. Okay. Xie xie. Thank you. Oh. Huh. Oh. There's a fence in there. Like monkeys or something. Can I go through? This is really weird. Oh, Jesus. Oh, that's how I throw. Okay. Okay. Hell yeah, that's fun. <laughs> Can I. Entertainment time is over. Do not touch the ball. Did I trigger that or did that just happen by random chance? Task 4007. Place your back on the wall on the left, facing the wall on the right. Okay.
I I did it. Close your eyes. I don't trust this. Am I a robot? Am I a human? Am I just a consciousness? Did they run an experiment to see if they could actually create a consciousness that thinks for itself? I don't know if I can do anything. Oh, something's coming up. What is that? Is that a body? Is that a head and the arms? Oh god. What am I looking at? Oh, I'm very uncomfortable. What is that? Open your eyes. Meet your neighbor, it's always hungry. It's a monkey. Is the monkey what I saw? Yeah, because that did not look like a monkey. Well, you guys might be able to see it a bit better because we brighten it uh, in post. Ooh, tasty cookie. Thank you, master. More cookie, give! Me being good! Task 4008. Walk in circles around the room three times towards your left. Okay. What would happen if I didn't do any of these? I wonder if there's a different outcome. There's one. There's two. My life is bustling with activity. And there's three. Does that count? Oh wait, yeah, I can sprint. I'll walk around the entire room. You like that? This is the good shit? Oh, that only counted as one. Okay. So I do actually have to run around the entire room. Okay, that's two. I don't like how quiet it is. Yay! Cookie! Am I being Pavloved? Pavlov is the person that did like the dog training where like you blow a whistle and the dogs know it's time to eat kind of thing. It's like conditioned training. But then the joke is, oh, share your toy with your neighbor. Okay. But then the joke is that Every time Pavlov blew his whistle, did he think about feeding his dogs? So he Pavloved himself. Did that work? Task 4010. Stand in the center of the room. Already doing so. Rotate in place to the left 20 times. Oh god. Oh god. Oh. <laughs> I'm getting dizzy! <laughs> this is so weird. That's only six! My character gonna pass out. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm getting wobbly. Oh, weird! Oh god, I actually am getting wobbly in real life as well. I think if I go too fast, it doesn't register it. Fifteen. Sixteen. 17, 18, 19, Cookie. 20. Cookie! Yay! Oh god. I really do feel dizzy. <laughs> this game's gonna give me motion sickness. I did what you asked! Okay, I'm stable again. Task 4011. Play ball with your neighbor. Okay.
Okay. They took my ball. Uh, hello? They took my ball! I hear you playing with my ball on the other side of your hole. They're getting tasks as well. Weird. Am I just a monkey? Being experimented on? Now come back, boomerang. You're my only friend. You're the only love I've ever known. I'm bouncing the ball to you. You're just rolling it back to me. Walk from left wall to right wall, back and forward. Okay. Do I not get my ball back? Oh, there we go. Thank you. It's probably gonna come straight back to you, actually. Yeah, look at it go. <laughs> oh, wait, they just open up the gate to let me throw it through sometimes. Interesting. How many times do you want me to do this? Task 4013. Eat the cookie. I like the sound of the cookie coming down. The sounds are really realistic. Does the cookie make you happy? Oh my god, I am just being conditioned. Yes! Very happy. Me happy with cooking. Oh, my ball. Oh. Do I like making others happy? Yes. Would you like to become a tasty cookie? No! I don't want to be a cookie! You will become a cookie. What? Time to relax. You can entertain yourself with your toy. This game is so weird! Ho We're every 2014 YouTube vlog right now. Woo! Fun! Hey, Mr. Monkey Man! You wanna play? Have a ball! Are you in there? Okay. Good talking to you. Woo! I love my ball! I'm having a great time! Even though I might be a monkey or a robot or just a flowing consciousness, who knows? All I know is that I have my ball. Get it right in the corner. Oh, so close. It's like the DVD logo thing. Come here, ball! Let me get it. I did it! What? Okay. What the fuck? Oh, 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 oh! Stay back! The neighbor wants to meet you. Task 4014. Sleep. I like my sleeping block. What the fuck is going on? What does it say? Looks like it says God in the middle. Protect. I can't really read it. I don't know what it says. Damn it. You better not just end. I want more. Ah, oh, come on! 
Ah, oh, that was getting really good. Oh, it's a playable teaser. It is PT. <laughs> That's what PT stands for. <laughs> Damn, that was fucking awesome. They, I'm I'm partial to this type of stuff. Belongs to bigger world currently under development by Forma. Please, more cookie. <laughs> this game, cookie, give. Oh my god, that was amazing. So simple, so straightforward, but like I said, I'm partial to this sort of like environmental storytelling or the really minimalistic style of storytelling where I'm- my imagination is going wild this entire time being like, am I a monkey? Am I a consciousness? Am I a, am I the same as the guy next door? Am I something different? Am I even real? So it's just all these different things happening and the game doesn't even need to explain it really because my brain has already made up a cool enough narrative for what fits my own tastes. And then that scene where everything goes red and he's like right there in the hole coming in towards you is fucking freaky, man. That was awesome. Oh, I want more of that. Now, please. I love that kind of shit. Well, dear viewer, we have come to the end of our video. Did you get scared? Did you keep it together? Did you keep your pact and your promise from the start of the video? I hope so. Because if you didn't, then I will never be able to trust you again. And going forward, Things are gonna get rough. But as you leave this video today, let me ask you something. Was any of this even real? Did you even experience any of it? Or is it just a figment of your imagination and the simulation that is currently running? We may never know. But until next time, dear viewer, so long.